two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. SpaceX launching its Falcon 9 rocket this afternoon. It's the seventh mission for the company as it sends a bunch of those Starlink satellites up into orbit. It's a busy few weeks for SpaceX. Next month, it's teaming up with NASA to launch astronauts from Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, and thousands of people would like to be along the Space Coast to see the historic launch. But with social distancing restrictions in place, Things might be a little different. News 6's James Barbero has details on how Brevard County is working to launch a tourism plant safely. It will be the same kind of rocket, but next month it will be a much higher profile mission. The return of astronaut flights from the Space Coast. Tonight, Brevard County discusses the likelihood of missing out on tens of millions of dollars in tourism money if the May 27th launch is still a time of social distancing. We're watching what the state criteria is going to be at that point in time. And while Cocoa Beach and Satellite Beach just reopened beaches to sunbathers, parking at every beach is still closed to discourage long distance visitors. The tourism office hopes that by the big launch, the governor and county commissioners will conclude travel is safe again and tourists can be welcome to what normally would be a mission that attracts hundreds of thousands to viewing areas like Port Canaveral. I don't know if, if we have the park open at that point. If we do and there's a social distancing requirement, then, then we'll have to manage that, which means we will limit the number of vehicles coming in. The county expecting the cruise industry to take the longest to recover. Port Canaveral says all the cruise lines at America's second busiest cruise port aren't looking to sail again until maybe July. When the industry does finally reopen, the port expects short voyages, initially trips of three or four days. Tourism revenue is expected to be down in May 90% compared to last year, and the county also says it might take as long as two years for the tourism numbers to fully recover. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.